Hello and welcome to my long-awaited UK legal knife options video. It's been a long time coming. I did one of these videos a couple of years ago and my collection has grown. So I thought it would be about time to create an update video really. I've got a lot more knives. I was just waiting for one more before I then did, did, this, uh, did this video and that was the, the Urban. I'll just put it there. Um, and I always forget to put my dog tag folder so I might as well just uh, take this off and put that there there too. So I'm going to go through every knife that's on this table. Compared to the last video uh, I think I had this in, in it and as you can see the Swiss card although you can buy it in most shops I wouldn't really class it as legal to carry and we'll talk about that in a, in a little moment and um, mainly because the the blade itself is is attached to this piece of plastic so I, I can't account that as a fixed blade um, even though it is it is small um, I don't think you could really kind of get away with it I don't think it really adheres to the UK legal knife law speaking of which all of these knives that you see here all of the pen knives or Swiss Army knives, uh, all of the toothpicks and the Spydercos, they all have cutting uh, the cutting edge lengths of under three inches. So as long as your uh, knife or pocket knife is a folding, non-locking knife, and the blade end edge length is under three inches, then it's legal to carry in the, in the United Kingdom without a good reason. This is a purely educational video showing you all of my UK legal knives. You can tell from the accent, I, I am in the UK. At least I hope you can from the accent. I don't want to turn it into a America versus UK law and all the rest of it. It's purely, these are the UK legal knives that you have the option to, to own and to, to carry around without a good reason. Obviously, I would still check if you're unsure with your local police station, uh, any of your knives that you, you're unsure about, just to make sure. I'd also strongly suggest you go on the, the Gov UK website, which I'll put a link link there below. But that's that's what it is. That's the, uh, the law in this country. So... Without further ado, I'll start with the good ones, uh, the Spydercos. Um, I mean, a lot of them are good, but let's just start with Spydercos first of all. From the top to the bottom, I've got a the smallest one, which is the Spyderco Bug. Um, very handy little uh, knife to, to have and to use. Many people put it on their keychain and just forget about it. Um, I've got one of mine. It's very sharp, made in China. It's 8CR13 MOV. I've got a video on that blade steel. Go check it out. Then I've got the Spyderco Honeybee, just a little bit bigger. Uh, a recent addition, the Clip Tool. Um, you can have it in three flavours. Uh, this one has the scissors. I think uh, you've got another one with a bottle cap opener and another one with a, with a very small saw. Then you've got the Grasshopper. The Kiwi, which is an odd shaped uh, knife but comfortable. Great little letter opener. There you go. The Roadie N690CO Maniago Italy. It's a great little gentleman's um, folding knife. Squeak. The Pingo. The Spy DK. It's a great point on that one. And it's quite a strong, strong lock. And those three, the Rodi, the Pingo and the Spy DK, they're all uh, legal to carry in Denmark as well because I think uh, you're not allowed one-handed opening knives even if they, if they don't lock. I've got the, the uh, UK PK, the old one with the sabre grind. Very comfortable knife. And then the updated one, same steel but the flat grind with the CTS BD1 steel. And then the mother of all Spydercos, I suppose, is this... CPMS 30V uh, Titanium uh, UKPK, very smooth, um, just solid weight, it's really for special occasions. And then the others that I missed over here, this is the my newest edition, Spyderco Urban, which is just between the Spy DK and the UKPK, and as you could tell I just took it out of my shorts. I use this the most at the moment, so I must say something. And then the other thing that I took from around my neck was my um, titanium S30V dog tag folder by Serge Panchenko 
Uh, excellent knife, I've used it many occasions when I didn't actually have a knife on me other than that. And then finally, uh, this is Bird. Spyderco kind of make their bird knives, and this is the um, turn. It's an okay knife, it's got uh, G10 handle scales. They're all the Spydercos. They're my favourite, of course. Spyderco is, is my favourite. I've got two Leathermans here. I've got the PS4, not squirt, with a chisel ground blade. I'm not really sure what blade steel that is. And the Juice S2, lovely orange colour. So yeah, you can have knives on multi-tools, it's fine. Uh, we'll move on to this uh, middle section. Right at the top, it needs no introduction, it's the legendary Sog Micron. <laughs> it's not, it's a piece of crap. Uh, it's a tiny little Tanto, it's just cheaply made, it's as sharp as your butter knife, it's just, yeah. We won't even go there. Uh, then we've got some Victorinox. Many people say, oh, super, the differences between Victorinox and Wenger, or Wenger, however you want to call it, is because the shield, the shield is, is a shield, and Wenger is kind of like that. No, this is still a Victorinox. Uh, well, it says so on there, it's not a fake or anything like that. Victorinox did do their shield like that for a time, um, but yeah, most of them have their, their crest kind of like that. But anyway, if you want to know what this is, I think this is the Alox uh, scales. I think this is the this SD, or the... The uh, standard pen knife, one in yellow, one in black. This one I actually have my keys on, which is the very posh uh, Silver Tech. We press the shield, and there's an LED light, very useful. It's got scissors, and it's also got a pen. So there you go. I've only had to refill the pen once, and the battery probably twice. Um, but again, nice nice little knife on there. So this one here with the, the funny shield is the Soldier. They stopped making them in 2008, so it's probably one of the, the last ones. And they actually issued these to the uh, Swiss Army. Whether they used them or not, or whether they had a backup, I don't know. I can't really say, but after 2008, uh, they changed to the green handle ones, of which I have one, but but not, not nearby to show you. This is the Farmer, so if you can't get your, your hands on one of those old soldiers, um, this is exactly the same, but it's got the added feature of a, a very nice, useful, long saw. Uh, and it's got a, a split ring and a nameplate, if you want to know the full differences. This is the Bantman, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this, this has just got a blade on it, so that's it. But believe it or not, that's under three inches. So uh, just thought I'd show you the, the largest kind of blade that uh, Victorinox do on one of these like, like pen knives. Uh, two more Silver Techs. I think this is the Spartan. I think this is the Huntsman. This is probably one of my favorite uh, pen knives that they do because it's got the scissors, it's got the saw, it's got bottle openers, you name it. It's fully packed. It's got the corkscrew with the tiny little flat head screw and it's also got the pin. It is action packed for its price and its size. Then you've got the Champ. Uh, this was way before the Swiss Champ was, was released. It looks new because I've got new scales on it and I've had this for such a long time. Then this is the Swiss Champ. It's uh, the big daddy. It's got everything. One of the best features are these, these pliers. Incredibly useful tool. So that's all the Victorinoxes uh, there. So, yep, so you've got multi-tools, you can carry them about, that's fine. Uh, I've got this special knife here, which is a, a Burka uh, CDC Henny Haynes edition. I think it's like 2012, uh, there are only 100 made. And this is um, from Burka's proper factory, not, not Chinese or anything like that. And it's got the little Henny Haynes symbol and Danzo. It's got titanium scale with a titanium pocket clip, along with nice... Um, Red G10, it's very or oh, Micarta, I think it is. Um, so there you go, really nice and smooth, well flushed, kind of special edition one going on there. And we've got some Texas toothpicks over here. So this is a cheapy, um, even the cheapies are good. So this is a Rough Rider, if ever you've heard that. 440 razor sharp steel, but um, I think uh, Rough Rider is made in China. Then you've got Buck, and I carry this for quite a while. I really like this knife. The obviously the bolsters or whatever you want to call them, they've kind of rusted up a little bit, but no doubt this will last many years to come. Uh, yeah, it's made in China, but I was really surprised with that book knife. Uh, one of my favourites. Then we got the classic case knife again with the bolsters that have 
kind of they're supposed to age on case knives and the blade looks brand new like yesterday american made i can see why people collect case knives they do last and the the blade is is very sharp and then we've got two kind of crkt columbia R river knife and tool variants of the case you can see the bolsters have rusted a bit more but the blade steel is still sharp in places so we've got two kind of ones a little bit larger so so that's all the the, to, the toothpicks uh, we'll move on to Bulkers uh, so this is the Subcom 42 again non-locking you can get a locking version if uh, that takes your fancy although there is a bar there it doesn't over travel there's just a ball uh, detent so does not lock um, so this is titanium with 440c it's a decent knife it's a decent shape and, and all the rest of it there you go Subcom 42 and then we've got the Trans 42 uh, I wasn't a big fan of the bead blasting, still not, because it does does ruin the blade. It's got OS8 steel, which isn't too bad. Again, I think you can get a, a locking version of this, because this is just the ball detent too. Uh, but that's under the, the 3 inches. And then finally, the excess. Uh, quite a menacing looking blade, quite a heavy one too. Uh, you're pushing your chances with this one. This one and the world legal knife of, of carrying it around. When I say pushing your chances, I, I'd say if you were carrying this around and you were carrying this around it's up to the policeman at the time but I think you'd probably get away with it with this whereas that is I, d I don't know I don't know what what the circumstances would be but um, yeah although it doesn't lock it's got a very strong detent and yeah you're, you're pushing chances with that one but it's still a UK legal knife and uh, 440c then we've got the Leong Ma again it's an alright blade I just uh, didn't really get on with it because although it's got this big cutout on the blade you, ca you can't use it um, it's a bit pointless really uh, unless you modify it and things you just which is a shame because it's a smooth blade and it's quite comfortable but uh, but there you go so that's the Le Leung Ma I think that's by yeah CRKT and then this big beast which is the the Lansky world legal knife it's got solid steel uh, liners in there which aren't that don't have any holes and not cut out. So this this knife is is heavy. It's a heavyweight and it's got a big um, pommel there. Uh, the G10 weighs a fair bit. And this is my first knife by Lansky. Uh, they, they normally you hear them making sharpness. This is 440C. It's an alright blade. It's an unusual shape, but it's uh, it's legal in in many many countries. Um, but uh, quite a beast. Quite cheap too. And this is just a cheapy off Amazon. So Nito or whatever, uh, it's still quite sharp. But this is just to 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 show you that you don't need to spend, um, you know, seventy pounds on a, or even two hundred pounds on a UK legal knife. You you can just go ahead and buy a, a ten fifteen quid, um, cheapy, and it still be useful and and legal. Obviously, because this doesn't lock and it's under three inches. So there we go. We've come to the end of uh, my UK legal uh, knife update video. Hope you have enjoyed it. One of the questions might be, Super, which is your favourite out of these? Well, it's a cross between these two, of course. They're the most expensive, but there's just something about them that I, I just really like. The one that I'm currently using the most is the Urban, along with the, the Serge Panchenko. But I'll use these now and again uh, when I'm out and about. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Take care.